we never ever compromise our relationship with Allah for anything that comes first then the Hajj is being celebrated you will understand why Ibrahim alayhi salam number one he worshipped Allah alone come what may number two the sacrifices he made one after the other so many I've only mentioned a few here later on also he had so many sacrifices one after the other every time he turned to Allah he kept on making dua to Allah look at the Quran it is filled with dua made by Ibrahim alayhi salam meaning many duas there of his are mentioned in the Quran why such great mention of a man who lived long long back because Allah wants us to learn the lesson look at his family members his wife was left with a child Hajar and Ismail in Makkah to Mukarramah nothing to eat or drink what was the conviction Allah will provide the wife asks him Allahu amaraka bihada is it really Allah who asked you to do this meaning to leave us here in this barren land with no one and obviously he kept on going yes it was Allah some time later what did they need water water root of life it came gushing from nowhere my brothers my sisters when you are in desperate need of Allah and you are close to Allah and you ask Allah and you continue to ask Allah it might take not seven rounds from Safa to Marwa not seven days or seven months it might take seven years for you and I we are not prophets of Allah but I promise you when the Zamzam comes gushing it will gush for a lifetime I'm talking about in your life and mine we're talking about sustenance you will be shocked what Allah has done for you in seven years but be patient don't lose patience we are too impatient you make dua today at Asr time you say you know what it was Jumu'ah I went to the masjid I cried to Allah I shed tears Allah doesn't want to listen to me hang on it's only Asr man it's only time of Asr you got to wait a seven months to seven years the cycle sometimes people say it's seven years as Muslims we don't believe that per se but we do know that it's Allah's timing so hang on be patient my brothers my sisters maintain that dedication look at what Allah tells Musa alayhi salam and and Harun Allah says they were making dua against the Pharaoh for a while the word is fastaqima. Allah says you've been calling out to us right for the destruction of the Pharaoh we've already answered your dua it's coming but in the meantime istaqima remain steadfast be patient today you suffered a loss hang on hang on be patient continue in your relationship with Allah a day of victory has to come seven years from today like I said all of us how many problems have you had in your life I'm repeating it because it's a very important question were there not days were they not days in your life when you thought I'm not going to make it and today where are you sitting subhanallah beyond imagination but that time you were crying you thought Allah's not responding look at where you are today you're sitting so happy you're sitting with such goodness where is the gratitude to Allah what happened to those days when you were saying Allah's not listening to me where did all that go and then guess what another test is also coming soon because that's the nature of life if Allah gives you life long enough wait 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 another one's coming and the good news or the bad news is that the next one's going to be bigger than the previous one because even at school you can't have the same questions of grade one all along it has to continue further and further it has to become bigger and bigger so many narrations show you the greater the test the greater the reward when Allah loves you he tests you more he will give you the challenges